First pitch of the ball game is swung on and missed and that's how we'll get things started this afternoon. Good swing by Johnson but he still comes up empty nothing in two. Yeah he just really pulled off of that pitch. This is a two seamer working its way down and away and he wasn't even close. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Right there is Beltran one away. With that, here are Terry Collins' New York Mets. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? Yeah, you know, I love what the grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. He's a catalyst for this offense when his bat is hot. Just needs to keep having good at-bats. Beltran is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. And with that, let's take a look at how the Rangers will align defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, one of the most exciting things we're going to have an opportunity to see in this one is the throwing arm of that catcher. He absolutely has a cannon. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you ever saw him on the mound someday. We'll get an opportunity to watch him in this one. Down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three, and now the Rangers will... Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from Texas. This is the man on the mound here. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, remember, he's got five pitches to work with, so that really makes it difficult for the hitter. He can change speeds, ball moving in and out. Not a lot of fun for the hitters. Hit high and deep is straightaway right field. Back goes Bruce to the track, to the wall. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo home run that time for Ian Desmond. As the Rangers strike first, it's one to nothing. Here's Carlos Beltran. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. Bases are empty here, nobody out. That's lifted the other way out to left. Conforto is there. One away. Number 30 digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Yeah, kind of a high chopper. This is a tough play for a shortstop on the move. Winds up beating it out. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center as the Rangers have moved out to a three-to-nothing lead. Stepping in now, Ryan Rua. First baseman. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, there's the location you want right there. If that ball gets hit, it's going to be on the ground. It swung on and hit in the air. After it is Granderson. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now that we have a chance, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? 
Well, guys, remember, this manager has not jumped on board with all the defensive shifts. Still that old-school mentality. Plays guys straight up, so we'll see how that impacts this game. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Seven, Number 19 stands in for the first time. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Matt, Daryl, he can have that moving strike zone at times. He calls a pretty good game overall, but I know people aren't always sure what he likes. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Strike three, and that'll put an end to a big inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Second inning coming up from Toronto. The Rangers on top here. Leading off the inning, Jay Bruce, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Darvish pauses. Here's the first pitch. Right side and right into the shift. Odor has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting fifth, second baseman. Neil Digging Walker. in the switch hitter, Neil Walker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Hit out towards second. A door is there. Throw gets him two down. Batting six. Center fielder number three. Curtis Granderson into the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. Out in front of it, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss there from Granderson, and he's quickly down here 0-2. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Ball to second. Fielded by a door. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Down in order go the men. Joey Gallo. Strides into the box Leading now to lead Rangers. off the home half of the Third second baseman. inning. And they jumped out Joey to that early Gallo. lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Taken high and deep to right. Bruce looking up. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Rangers have opened it up now 4-0. Standing in now, Robinson Chirinos. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Ian Desmond will stand in to try to duplicate his first at-bat where he homered to open the inning. And that really sparked that first inning rally. When you get your leadoff guys on like that, it can create a lot of excitement for everybody else that's got a bat in their hands. Runners on the move for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Well, they're really trying to put the hammer to him here in the early part of this ballgame. This moves another runner into scoring position, and they're threatening to add on to their already good-sized lead. Oh, he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball.
sent on the ground out to second. Walker's got it, and a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now batting. At the plate, Carlos Beltran, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And now he's hitting left-handed where he's a lot more comfortable over his career. He tends to make better contact from the left side, so I think he's happy to be over there. First pitch swinging as this will be a chance for Walker at second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Yeah, and unless he was going on his own down there at third, they were using that contact play where you're told wherever and whenever the ball's hit, you're off and running. You're not even paying attention to what's going on. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. And guys in the big leagues, they'll act like it didn't really hurt. But I'll tell you what, that is painful right there. He's wincing inside. High and deep to straightaway right. Bruce racing back at the track. The wall. And a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. Now batting. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Into the box, Ryan Rua. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. A nice daytime shot there from one of the many marinas here in Toronto as we're set to go in the third inning of this one. As Drubal Cabrera will lead things off here with his guys down seven in the early going. Steve Lyons, how do you come back from a deficit like that? Well, I think slowly. I mean, yeah, ideally a 10-run inning would be great. But you've got time on your side. You don't need to try to get it all back at once. Just pack away. A couple runs here, a couple runs there. Get yourself into slam range. That's four runs down. Well, here's another look. This looked to be a fairly routine play. Just might have hit him, though, on the heel of the glove, and now they've got a leadoff base runner. Striding into the box, James Loney. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here comes the first pitch. There goes the runner. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. And there's some managers out there who would say, we're already down a few runs here early. Let's not take too many chances on the base pass. But not this guy. He's not afraid to give his guys free reign out there. And this time, it works out for him. And a good cut by Loney, but he didn't get it. And quickly, it's 0-2 now. Do you even bother with anything else here? No, I sure wouldn't. As a hitter, you're thinking, look for fastball, adjust for an off-speed pitch. And so far in this at-bat, he hasn't made any adjustments. There to take it is Desmond, and that's the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Batting ninth. Travis Darno settles Travis into the box Darnot. for his first chance. 
He's set. Here it comes. Grounded to third. Gallo is right there. Throw on to first. Two gone. Kelly Johnson will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. And he only saw a couple pitches, too. And that's great for the pitcher when you can get an easy leadoff out like that. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And the pitch takes off inside and it gets away. And now a run comes across. Russell Martin heads for the Leading box, the ready to, to lead this one off today. Catcher, number 55. Out in front of it, strike one. First pitch. Down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Sail into the windup. 0-2 pitch on its way. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball and the count holds at 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Right side. Ortiz over to his left. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. With that, a look at John Gibbons' lineup for the visiting Blue Jays. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Yeah, Matt, I cannot wait to get a look at Josh Donaldson. The bringer of rain. He's a home run threat every time he steps into the box. If they want to shut him down, they're going to have to be careful and keep the ball low in the zone. Don't give him anything he can drive. Second With a moment line. now, let's take a look yeah, here at the lineup Travis. defensively for the American League. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, Matty, we got... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So a fairly painless top of the first. Now the AL Stars will get their opportunity to shine. No score. Here comes the second baseman, Jose Altuve, to get things kicked off in the second home half of line. inning number one. Jose. Altuve. Sends that one out of play for strike one. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. 
There to take it in is Donaldson for the first out. Batting second. Right. In now, Mookie Betts. Mookie as he'll get his first Betts. opportunity in this one. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And Carnacion is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Well, now that we have a chance, let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, Josh Donaldson is an MVP-type player because of his offense. But his defense is just as superb. He makes great plays, very athletic. And some of the things he does on a baseball field, you just can't imagine. I can't wait to watch it. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout. As the AL strikes first, it's one to nothing. Batting fourth, first base. Standing in now, David Ortiz. And he pops it up. Back behind second base. Tulowitzki is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. But they're off to a good start. Leading off the inning, Josh Donaldson, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power. Now Donaldson with a drive. That's well hit to deep left field. And what's the call? It's a home run. And now hold on just a second here. You can see the four umpires gathering near third. And it would appear that they're going to discuss whether this in fact stayed inside the foul pole. And I would guess that after all the discussion, they're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay. And that is indeed what they'll do as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Crowd on the run. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Troy Tulowitzki. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Sale has his target. Here comes the first pitch. On the ground to the left side. On to first, and Tulowitzki grounds out here, two away. Batting six, left fielder, Michael Saunders. Michael Saunders into the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. He pulls this one into right, and Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. Four pitches, all it takes to retire the Jays. They still trail one. Miguel Cabrera. Strides into the box Leading now to lead off the base. home half of the second First inning. Miguel Cabrera. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Knuckler strike one. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there. And he almost came out of his shoes on that one. Good cut that time by Cabrera, but he couldn't come up with it. It's 0-2. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, and Lawrence is a good umpire. I've seen him get some stares from lefty hitters before and pitches away, but maybe only a handful of times. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Batting sixth, designated hitter, Robinson. Cano. Robinson Cano settles into the box for his first chance. First pitch of the at-bat. Into the seats, 0-1.
Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll get back there to make the catch in front of the screen as they retire their man here for the second out. The shortstop. Manny Machado gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. On the ground to the right side. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. We'll go now to the top of the third. The American Leaguers on top, 1 to nothing. A nice daytime shot there from one of the many marinas here in Toronto as we're set to go in the third inning of this one. Kevin Pillar. We'll stand in now to lead things off. Center Seven, eight, and nine Number here to start the third Kevin inning. Kevin and maybe Kalam. one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Real good lateral movement on that two seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And you figure to see that change up more and more as this day progresses. And the first time through the lineup, you want these guys to know that you've got this pitch in your arsenal. Sometimes pitchers want to hold on to pitches and not show everything right away. But here, you want these guys to be thinking. I know he's got that change up, so I'd better not sit on the fastball too often. On to first as the throw takes care of him, and it's a quick two-up, two-down start to the third. Melvin Upton Jr. Melvin Upton will stand in now Jr. with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. Yep. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. Jackie Bradley Jr. digs into the box leader. in the bottom of inning number three. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this Bradley leading off an inning Junior. for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Dickey into the windup. First pitch on the way. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Carnacion in foul ground, and he's retired one away. Batting ninth. Catcher. So one away now, and here comes the catcher, Salvador Perez. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw gets him, two down. The second baseman, number 27, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve in now, hopped out in his first trip. Here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a high pop up. Dickey is there for it. And the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Three innings complete. It's a lead for the American League, one to nothing. Russell Martin will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Russell and still looking Martin. for their first base runner too. Nine up, nine down. Sale gets the sign. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one and it's strike one. Well, there's another first pitch strike right there. And you know, he's gotten ahead of every single batter he's faced so far. And that's a big reason why he's getting these good results.
smoked on the ground left side and just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. And an offline throw, but a good tag this time to get his man anyway. First baseman, number 10. Striding into the box, Edwin Encarnacion. He flew out in his last at-bat. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Devin Travis will come in now with two away, and I've got to say, it may be about time to start taking a pitch or two. Yeah, I mean, he is just running right through these guys. They've been getting themselves out left and right. He's hardly even broken a sweat out there. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Trout giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Mookie Betts, fourth inning. For the American League, right fielder. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. There is Travis. And a good throw gets him one gone. The center fielder, number 27. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, the ever dangerous Mike Trout. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. You know, when I watch Mike Trout and I see the speed and the power, it reminds me of Mickey Mantle. And whatever you do, don't give him something down in the zone to hit. He loves the ball down. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So two gone in the inning now for David Ortiz. David Ortiz. Chop foul at the plate. Strike one. 0 oh and one count and the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. American League goes. Josh Donaldson heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Cabrera is there for it. One down. Troy Tulowitzki stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. Looking at Tulowitzki up there, you can't help but think of all the honors that have come his way, despite some pretty significant injury setbacks. A perennial all-star, a gold glover, a silver slugger award winner. This guy can do it all when he's healthy. On to first, and Tulowitzki grounds out here. Two away. Michael Saunders. Michael Saunders stands in for the second time. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, he was pretty unlucky last time because he squared up that fastball nicely. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Last half of the fifth coming up. The AL leads it one to nothing. Miguel Cabrera will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zeros since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there as we're going to get another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that replay, and we're going to have to see what the word from the dugout is. Remember, the ruling on the field is safe. Robinson Cano is into the box for his second at-bat. He popped out into foul territory his first time up. Yeah, his swing definitely broke down a little bit last time. He got way underneath the ball. It'll be interesting to see if he can make that adjustment and stay on top of the ball here. Calling for it. And Carnacion. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. 
the shortstop, number 13, Manny Machado. Digging in to try it again, Manny Machado. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. So no runs here, no base hits, two costly errors, and no one left on. Kevin Pillar will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. Yeah, I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fell on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now batting. Designated so stepping in, Melvin, Melvin Upton, Upton Jr. Jr. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And he'll scramble back to first safely. And that's what speed does. Just a little ground ball here, but he's hustling all the way and beats it out for an infield single. Russell Martin steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Sale sets. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0-1. Set to deliver the 0-1. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Moving under it, Betts makes the play, and there are two gone now. And this will prove to be a heads-up play at first as he tags up and moves into scoring position now. Boy, you could go a whole season and not see this happen. I think what helps make this work is that no one in the ballpark expects anyone to tag up from first and try to advance. But he sees an opportunity, and that's a heck of a hustle play to get into scoring position. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Devin Travis strides in now, and we'll see if he can come through with two on and two out here in the sixth. Rounded down the third baseline. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to Ortiz, and that will retire the side. Blue Jays forced to settle for just the one. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. All tied at one and one. For the American League. Left fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout and taken in out there for the first out. The catcher, number 13, Salvador. Salvador Perez stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. The second baseman, number 27, Jose, Jose Altuve. Altuve. will stand in now hoping to get on top of one for a change. He's popped out in successive plate appearances. Well, Matt, so much of hitting is being able to make the necessary adjustments. He needs to make one here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. After it is Saunders. 
He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We're through six full, all tied at one and one. Josh Donaldson will stand in here to start the seventh. EK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Yeah, neither starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired just yet. Sales ready. Here's the pitch. Now a big swing here by Donaldson, but he got out in front a bit too much, and that's a foul ball. The 0-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. Oh, and he can't make the play. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I'd bet he'd like to have that one over. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. Troy Tulowitzki will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Yeah, just sort of rolling over on it, guys. See if he can make a small adjustment and get through one here. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Grounded to short. Machado has it. On to first, and Tulowitzki grounds out here. Two away. How about it? Left fielder. Michael, Michael Saunders, Saunders will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. He seems to be seeing the ball okay, though, making some decent contact so far. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Yeah, he's definitely still bringing it. It's the seventh inning, and we're still here in the catcher's mitt, snapping all the way up here. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still... Mookie Betts steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here Leading in the bottom the of the seventh. Right fielder, Mookie. First pitch on its way. Squared that one up just a little late. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Tulowitzki is there for it. One away. A center fielder. Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown so far. Mike Trout will stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Martin should have room. Two gone. First baseman number 34, David Ortiz. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Ortiz is on his way to second. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Eighth inning coming up. All tied at one and one. Kevin Pillar comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Kevin Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike.
Here comes Ned Yost up out of the dugout and on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter, Chris Sale. Here's the 0-1. Left side. Taken in by Machado. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout, and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, he wasn't so sure that was the right call. And looking at it again right here, I don't know if I can tell for sure either. We'll wait to see what the guys in the dugout say after reviewing this play a couple of times, probably. Here comes the right fielder, Jose Batista. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Up next for the Blue Jays. Melvin Upton Jr. Melvin steps in, Upton working on a one-for-two game so far. Little dribbler down the line. Throw on to Ortiz, and that'll retire the side. We'll see Miguel Cabrera leading off when we get back. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. All tied at one and one. And there now is Miguel Cabrera. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1-1 tie. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Dickey gets the sign. 0-1 on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the He's inning. Now batting the designated hitter, Robinson Cano. Robinson Cano stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. comes a Toronto skipper out toward the pitcher's mound and that will mean the end of the knuckleball here is that's going to be it for R.A. Dickey first pitch coming here it is but gloved by the third baseman for the out Manny Machado will stride forward now he's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game just a little off on his earlier swing, guys. You've got to keep that top hand palm up through contact to keep him rolling over. Again to first. The 0 and 1 delivery. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Yeah, a couple of mid 90s fastballs, and he hasn't been close on either one of them. He's running towards second, taken for strike three, the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Well, this nearly turned into a strike him out, throw him out double play. They roll the dice and send the runner with two strikes, but he throws just a bit late to second, so that'll be a stolen base. Jackie Bradley Jr. is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Hmm. Talk about saving your best pitches for when you need them. He was all kinds of fools right there. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. Oh, A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. He will definitely give you something to think about up there. 
<laughs> there are no comfortable at bats against this guy. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Russell Martin will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Catcher, Russell Martin. On the ground to third. Gloved by Cabrera. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. First baseman number 10. Edwin Encarnacion steps into the box. Let's see if they avoid the zone again or try to challenge him here. Well, I'm sure he'd probably rather hit, but guess what? There's no easier way to improve that on-base percentage. Machado is there. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Encarnacion for the second out. Now back. Second baseman, Devin Devin Travis will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball on the first, and can you believe it? A three pitch inning, and just like that, the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth, all tied at one and one. Catcher, Salvador Perez. Belted out toward deep center field. Ranging back is Pilar. Gone! Santa Maria. Game over. So it's a solo shot to dead center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. It looked like he saved his best work here for the final swing. And these guys...